Hello guys and welcome back and I am in the process of installing the turnouts leading into the train yard. Uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video to show you guys how I'm doing that but before uh, I lead into that I just want to remind you guys uh, to make sure if you're doing the inverted uh, tabletop method like I've done here for the turnouts uh, for installing the under the table switch uh, make sure that your uh, under the table switch is actually going to be mountable that it's going to line up with the with the switch rod as far as the you know the actuator rod is concerned make sure you know everything's going to work before you start gluing anything down because you know last thing you want to do is, is to have to get in here and pull up track because you can't get your under the table switch mounted because you're hitting into the the side of the plywood up underneath or something like that so you just might want to be mindful of that uh, so what I did here is I come in and I just run uh, a really thin uh, bead of the Dynaflex 230 uh, latex adhesive and then I'll come back through with my putty knife and just you know spread it out uh, to where uh, it's I mean you can see there's there's hardly no thickness here at all it's it's almost flat with the top of the road bed and the reason uh, you want to do that is you, you don't want it uh, you know kind of uh, building up between the ties like here I don't know if you can see that that's actually a little bit too much right there and uh, so you know you just might want to be mindful of that you know I just I just did this section right here and it's already set up I mean I haven't even put nails in or anything yet so I mean it sets up quick so you, you definitely want to make sure you're ready uh, to lay the track you know when you put the the bead of, of caulk down so uh, the other thing I do here is I just take this old, take an old box car or something and just kind of check and make sure that, you know, I'm not getting any uh, derailment issues uh, with the turnouts and everything. So, uh, yeah, so it's coming along good and uh, moving right along. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, after I get this little part in here done, the rest will go pretty quick. Uh, one thing I am going to do is, is you see down here at this end of the layout, let me walk down here. Um, so the outside, the outside track is actually the main line and the inside is actually a branch line that's going to be leading to the industrial branch on phase two of the Alphaville Railroad. So uh, the outside radius is 24 inches and the inside is 22. So those are pretty tight radiuses for a when you're using flex track. So there's actually a, a method you can do to keep the flex track from kinking up on you, if you will, as you're installing it. And as I get ready to do that, I'll shoot another video on that to show you guys what I do. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to install flex track on a tight radius, but it can be a little bit difficult at times. Uh, so yeah, it's coming along good. and. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted as to how it's going, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next video.